Gyotaku is the Japanese art form. The definition means fish rubbing or fish print that was used primarily in the early 1800s to record your fish size, location, and just the general shape of it. They really didn't refine the technique back in those days. And it kind of disappeared for a while since photography came out in the 1900s. It slowly started coming back more as artwork. It came to Hawaii. They wanted to change it up by adding a little bit of color to it, which gave it more character, made it more realistic, and just kind of completed that whole art definition. I just initially thought at the time it was just like this rudimentary fish drawing. And once I realized it was a fish print, having that artistic background, I really wanted to give it a go. Early on in my career, I would go out with my friends spearfishing and we'd be limited to just reef fish, you know, predominantly. And I sourced some of my fishermen friends in my small jujitsu circle and loaned me the fish like marlins and mahi-mahis and every subject I printed I learned a little bit more. However, recently I've been exploring different subjects like ino shishitaku which is like a pig print which one of my friends on Kauai caught recently. Toritaku, a bird print, and like a wild chicken. It's like slowly evolving for me. I want to try and do as many subjects. My artwork is primarily on Oahu at majority of all the Pictures Plus locations. And I also host workshops with Pictures Plus, teaching people the art of Kyotaku. You can also see some of my artwork in Haleiwa at Wise Gallery in Old Haleiwa Town. Kyotaku to me is not only just an art, but there's a huge story behind it. You know, the place, the people involved, and what it took to attain this, this piece of art. And I feel like the native Hawaiians would always pay homage and respect in the right way to harvesting your fish, you know, ensuring that the future generations will receive art. I feel like that's the epitome of respect to the fish because it's not just another fish in the cooler that's sold at an auction block. That entire fish has been preserved and given the utmost respect by being displayed as a centerpiece in a house. And then ultimately the consumption, that brings the most smiles to people's faces. I feel like that's what the ancient Hawaiians would do, you know, that they would gather and share the food and just talk story. And it kind of brings back like that whole feeling of just togetherness when you're eating.